Greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with a, another a new series for Geopolitical Simulator for Power and Revolution. Uh, I'll be honest, I was getting kind of frustrated with the Kurdish Rebel series. I kind of felt like um, I had met some dead ends there. It sort of seemed like I was running out of options for uh, how to progress in that series. I, you know, I do promise I will continue to play in the future, actually checked out the timeline, and I have until uh, December uh, 2017, so I think I'm still in just the summer of 2016, so it seems like I have plenty of time, so I will, I will continue to play, but I wanted to sort of take a break from it, uh, step back a little bit, and uh, reevaluate the situation, uh, and I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, start another game, and we're looking at a level 2 scenario here, Independence Movement, so we're going to select a legal party or a legal organization and try to achieve independence. Uh, hold on, I just want to go back real quick. The goal for this one, play as one of the several warring parties in the conflict to try to end that. So I should really be working to end that series. Uh, I think I was looking more to become an independent Kurdistan. Uh, but I should, guess I should actually try to end the war. Alright, well... That's, in that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> already learning more from uh, my actions here. So, from stepping back. That's good. Okay, so for this one, we are going to be looking for an independence movement. And, um, let's see here. The one that I was interested in most uh, was actually one that was uh, voted on recently. The United Kingdom, I believe it was in um, September of 2014, and that was uh, the independence of Scotland. Um, I believe they had a vote in September of 2014 whether or not to, whether Scotland should become an independent nation, independent of the United Kingdom. And I think that vote failed uh, somewhere around 55 to 45% uh, people in Scotland to stay part of the United Kingdom. And originally, to my understanding, um, Scotland, one of the reasons why Scotland wanted to be, one of the reasons why the, the two countries did merge was because it expanded the market, um, to my understanding. I know it was the Act of Union in uh, 1707, I want to say, that formed uh, Great Britain. Um, and then later on, Ireland came, became part of Great Little Britain, and then by 1922, Ireland was out. And that, there you have the United Kingdom that you have today. Um, but I think it was 1707, the Act of Union formally made Scotland part of the United Kingdom. I believe there was a personal union in 1603, uh, when James the I became King of England, uh, the Stuart. James Stewart, the Stewart Dynasty took over. Uh, he was James the Sixth of Scotland, if I understand. But the United Kingdom, oh no, Great Britain, was uh, 1707. So now we're going to see if we can take some steps to um, become independent. I think there was a movement in the Labour Party. Hello, I am your go. special advisor. On behalf of all of our supporters, I would like to wish you a warm welcome. As head of our organization, we believe the future of our cause lies with you, and you will lead us to achieving independence. There are several paths we can now take. Weaken the current leadership, popular uprising, illegal armed conflict with the ultimate objective of holding a self-determination referendum, or signing a division of territory agreement. Good luck. Okay, so we kind of outlined some options here. Um, several paths we can take. Weakening the current leadership. And again, I have a pad and pen with me here. I just want to write these down. I know I've done this before. I've looked at this before. but So my options are to weaken the current leadership. 
I can lead a popular uprising. Interesting. And then illegal armed conflict. Hmm. I don't think I need to do that with Scott. Because we already had a vote. Well, there was a vote recently. Ultimate objectives, holding self-determination referendum. I like that idea. Self-determination referendum. See, I don't know if I can do that in uh, Syria with the Kurds and try to create an independent Kurdistan. I think someone had mentioned that to me recently in one of the videos. Would I create an independent Kurdistan? I'm not sure how I can go about it. I guess maybe this scenario will help show me how to go about doing But again, the Syrian government is a dictatorship, and here in the United Kingdom, we have a democracy, so referendums are probably easier to come by in a democracy. Okay, referend determination referendum, self-determination referendum, or signing a division of territory agreement. Interesting. So these are my goals here. Now, how am I going to go about doing this? I have actually analyzed the scenario he was going to talk about. Try and think of it as, my friends' friends are my friends. Try and get connected to key figures, particularly if they have close ties to the supreme authority. See, that sounds if like a You need to find the best contact person who can put you in touch with the right people. See, that sounds like I should talk to, like, the ministers, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to explore these options. Let's zoom in on Scotland. Here we go. This is a much more developed country than uh, Syria. We've got railroads here and um, a lot more uh, power. So we got some major urban areas here in the north. Uh, what do we got there? Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen. Those are the three major urban areas in Scotland. And England's got tons of urban areas. Look at that. Ooh, London's huge. London is enormous. Whoa, nice. That looks pretty cool. Ah, I like that big Ben tower. That is really cool. You throw air before. Nice. I like the British flag. The Union Jack. Alright. Another airport. Alright, so we got rail lines. This those are rail lines, yes. Let's see, uh, they don't have highways in this. These cities are cool. Nice graphics. Look at this. I'm used to playing uh, without the video graphics card. With uh, Masters of the World. Oh, there's a nice, there's one of the wind farms. Cool wind farm, look at that. What do we got there? I don't know, I wonder what this is. Communication base. Nuclear plant. Whoa. Watch out. Look at that offshore wind farm. Cool. Very cool. I'm impressed. Is that an army base? No, that's an army base. Okay. Um, this is, what is this? The Island of Man, I believe. Yeah, Island of Man. Isle of Man. Man's got his own island. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Um, that's a dependency of the United Kingdom. Not part of the United Kingdom. Okay, so most of the urban area around right here. Very rural. A lot of Scotland. It looks to be a very rural. Uh, that's going to play into my uh, political calculations a little bit, I think. I, like I said, I did do an overview of Scotland uh, prior to playing this game, and I uh, really analyzed, methodically analyzed, all the different groups and uh, all the different unions. And uh, you should see the page 
page that I'm looking at right now. This is covered in names. There are 10 different political parties. There are 22 different unions, 19 associations, 3 religions, and 5 sects. Uh, much more complicated than the Syrian scenario. So there's going to be a lot more to deal with with this. And we're going to have to line up a lot more meetings. So political parties. And I'm just going to give you an overview real quick. These are the 10 different political parties. Some of them are in favor of us. A lot of the uh, independent parties uh, are in favor. Not the Northern Ireland Cyprus Party, but uh, the Welsh are, uh, Party, Wales Free Front, is very happy. Uh, what is it? Um, this is the Northern Ireland Autonomous Regionalist Union. They're happy. Uh, Defense Party for the Defense of Nature likes us. Uh, Socialist Labor League, yeah, again, the uh, independence movement, to my understanding, started, the Scottish independence movement, to my understanding, starts with the Labor Party, historically. Um, but it wasn't really high on their agenda, so independent parties sort of emerged to try to push it. And of the independent party, I don't know if that's Scottish independence. I don't know what that is. What is that? This is more uh, ideologically independent, I think. Centered independent. United Republic. This one does not like us. All these uh, patriotic United Kingdom groups do not look at that. They're really angry. But they're not very popular. So, you know. Oh, this one's really not popular. Ultra Liberal Democratic League. 4.5 million people. Only have eight seats, though. Uh, not a lot of these uh, parties have uh, seats. See, this one is uh, 7.2 million, but they don't even they don't have any seats in Parliament here. Extreme right, British Patriotic Union. So the Conservatives do not want independence. The Liberals seem to be more well. I guess not the ultra liberals, but some of the more liberal groups tend to be. Uh, I actually have a good amount of seats. Who has seats here? I wrote that down. Alright, the Socialist Labor Party, I think, might have the most seats. Oh, I think we can it up now. They have 232 seats in Parliament. So they're pretty important to be friends with, because we'll need their vote if we're going to try to go for a referendum. The other big group, oh, United Republic Movement is bigger. United Republic Movement, who doesn't like us, has 340 seats in Congress. Probably. That's going to be tough to deal with if we're going to go for a vote. I could always try an armed uprising. That would be kind of crazy. That'd be like William Wallace, Braveheart style, you know, freedom type. But I might get disemboweled, so you don't have that. Um, just joking. Alright, so. Where? I want to just give you some information on my party, actually. I can. Oh, here, here's the breakdown. There you go. This group is in favor. That's our Socialist Labor League. They're allies. Uh, this party, I think, really likes us. The Party for the Defense of Nature. They only have one seat, though. We've got 56 seats, which isn't bad. But uh, I believe there's an upper and a lower chamber here, so I don't know how that works. As far as uh, how many seats. Oh, here we go. Lower chamber has 650. Upper chamber has 764. And that math really doesn't add up, so I have to be looking at one of the chambers here. Yep. Yeah. We're going to have to explore that a little bit. Right, if anyone can explain that a little better, please feel free to post. Um, those are the political parties. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to want to talk to them eventually. Also, of course, I have to talk to people in government. Looks like most people in government do not like me. 
So, no, none of the ministers like me. I actually didn't look at this before. This is the one thing I did. I looked at the groups, not the individuals. Wow. Alright, that's all. Unions. Let's do an overview of the unions for everyone here. Uh, the unions, uh, I think this is an area where we can grow. Uh, again, the Labour Party seems to be pro-Scottish independence. So if we can align ourselves with the Union, we'll still keep the Labour Party as our friend, I believe. All these parties have us basically, I think, at just, they're all neutral to us. I don't think anyone is in favor I don't think anyone is against what I'm looking at. Um, agricultural labor group. I thought that we had them be more popular. I have to correct that actually. The biggest group, the biggest union. Some of these lead unions are some of the biggest unions here. This one, I believe, 4.5 million. That's huge. British Union Federation. That, I think, is the biggest one. Yeah. Um, the Proletariat Confederation is also... So is the... Uh, National Union Federation. So, actually, United Kingdom, by the way, I should just go over these stats with you real quick. 64 million people. Uh, 3 trillion GDP. We have parliamentary regime. Politically oriented towards the right, government is a monarchy with the parliament. Um, capital is London, land area 95,000 square miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regions, 13 regions. That's important to number there, to note right there actually, because you should know how many regions are there. there are. Uh, decent numbers, not bad. 5% inflation, uh, unemployment, very little inflation. Um, that's not bad. Economically, they look okay. So, I think, um, and again, this is, or the proletariat, with the, I think one of the big focuses early on is going to be try to focus on the unions, try to sway them in my direction. The aircraft carrier union has nobody in it. That's one union I don't have to concern myself with. Um, but those big unions up front, these labor organizers here, they seem to have the most popularity, so they'll probably be some of the first people I I introduce myself to. Associations, this is another point. Uh, 19 different associations. And uh, eight, the eighth association is actually really big, 3 million. Uh, so we're going to have to promise them some stuff. Alternative world, and I don't know what that is really. Or, people are kind of going crazy here. I don't know what this is. National Association for the Alternative World. Anyone has any idea what this is? Please comment. Let me know. Give me some suggestions on what I should do with these guys. They don't like me. Um, I might just ignore them. Animals, animal people. There's a lot here. Five million there. Um, family. Cancer is a big group. National. Oh, that's anti-racism. They have about two point nine million. They like us. Uh, cancer is a big group. Cancer concern. People who are concerned with cancer. 6.6 uh, 6 million. That's big. Collective rights of the consumers. That's another big one. 7.7 7 million. Drivers are actually at 5.6 million. Uh, the family is a big one. And I'm going to be concerned with them. 7.1. Also important to note here, they are Protestants. So I'm going to try to buddy up Protestants, and I have a few ideas for how to do that as well. Um, we're going to try to buddy up with both families. Uh, yeah, I can tell you something for family. I think education. We're going to make some education promises for family. That will also cross over to teachers and students, I think, make the same promise to them. Uh, but I can't really challenge, like, I can't take a strong stance on the sanctity of marriage because the homosexual community is one of the biggest. They are 20 million. 
So I'm going to have to promise them that they can get married. I, think that's, I don't know what other issue I can promise them. So, uh, in order to counter that, I think I'm going to buddy up to the Protestants by taxing uh, alcohol. Like, and I think that would, and I think taxing the alcohol will also help with the drivers. So see, I think I can promise that to all those groups: family, drivers, and uh, Protestants. Yeah. But I can also try taxing pornography, and that seemed to work well in uh, the Syrian campaign. I think the Protestants might be good with that. There's probably some Puritanism left over there in England, right? They're going to want to be able to cover things up. Um, so, what else do I have here? Human sharing. They're not as big of a group in this one. Where is that? They don't really have a lot of people. No, they only have like six million. Hunters. Hunters are pretty small. But, uh, this group right here, the uh, Association for Self-Defense is huge, the right to bear arms. So I'm going to have to promise gun rights and maybe try to get rid of uh, any gun tax that might exist. Uh, I haven't gotten into the actual issues yet and looked at them, but uh, promising the gun rights could get me the hunters and the self this self-defense one. Those are the biggest ones. Senior citizens have about five million. Women, who are actually pretty happy with this. Senior citizens are mild. Women are happy, and they've got about five point nine million. They're pretty, pretty interested. They also have the black community and the Indian community, because India was a colony of Great Britain. Yes, remember our history. Good. So those are all the big groups, really. Uh, you do have these crazy sect groups. They're just like, they're nuts. They are really small. There's a thousand. Yeah. There's, uh, that's like the Scientology people, I think. Um, College of the Apocryphal, Apocryphal Revolution. I like the uh, the name, the titles for each of these people. Is, their leader is the Guru. The Ark of the Mystical Hermit's Guru. I don't know what's going on there. This is a satanic group. Antichrist. They could be crazy. New Humanists. They're the biggest. So, I don't know what these guys... These guys could probably be... If I wanted to go, like, armed uprising, they, they might line up with me. I don't know. I might be able to get them to do some crazy things. I don't know. I don't want to judge. People are free to think whatever they want, in my opinion. You think there's a lizard running everything? Go ahead and think there's a lizard. I don't care. As long as you don't hurt anything. Uh, religion is the last groups we're going to analyze here. And again, this is England, so the Protestants are huge. 23 million. Uh, Catholics not as big. Nope, and the Muslim community even smaller. So I think it's the Protestant community that I'm going to have to buddy up with. So let's go ahead and um, make an appointment with them, right? Sure. And that'll be the end for the first episode. I think I went 23 minutes there, so I'll just, uh, that's where I'll cut the episode. And, uh, I'm going to continue with the live stream. Thank you for watching.